Hey lovelies, it's me Kaikles. Welcome back to my channel for a brand new Let's Play in The Sims 4. So today we are really quickly just going to do the first part of our Let's Play. I'm a little bit short for time today, but that's okay. We're still going to get into the swing of things. So about two weeks ago, I put out a video introducing this family to you guys. And you were so keen for a Let's Play. So here it is guys. Boom, bang, here we go. So just to really quickly recap cap. This is Ashley Forsyth. She is an ex-runway model. She moved to Willow Creek to further her opportunities in her modeling career. There was really nothing for her in her hometown, so she moved to Willow Creek and shortly after when she got into a relationship with this guy called Clinton Waters, uh, she really just fell head over heels madly in love with him and that's pretty much where we are now. We live in his house. He owns his own beautiful place here in Willow Creek. We live around by the Goths and all that sort of stuff. By any means, we're not like the land grabs, but we are totally moving on up in the world. And Ashley, for once, is feeling so happy and, and, she, and she's excited about the future because, you know, Clinton is away at the moment on a business trip. He should be getting a promotion when he comes back. He's away for like one night, but he'll be back tomorrow. So that is really exciting, you guys. So this is Ashley Forsyth. She is a young adult. She is in a relationship with Clinton, who is this young guy. Well, he's not young, but well, I think he's an adult actually, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he's a young adult. So yeah, he's the same age as us. For some reason, I thought he was an adult and older than us, but that's okay. So we are in a relationship with Clinton. He's actually over in San Machino in the city. Um, he just had to go and do some stuff for his political career. And he had to go and do a few business trips over there and meet a couple of managers and and, and real, really just do the deed over there and, and really make a name for himself. So that's super cool. We'd love to move to the city sometime, but hey, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, Captain. So this is Clinton Waters. Um, he's a hothead, he's a bookworm, and he's materialistic. Um, you guys are probably wondering, like, why he's not here. Well, yeah, he's on a business trip, so he'll be back tomorrow. He's back Wednesday at about 3 p.m., so that's tomorrow. Um, we obviously have the kids who have awoken up to something very scary under their beds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to buy build mode real quick. And I'm going to buy these guys a little bit of a lamp. Uh, for their bed because I don't want them waking up in the middle of the night and waking up Gabriella and um, All that sort of stuff. So I think I might do Christopher's light a blue light and then Benjamin's light. I'll do um, I'll do a should I do a gray color? I'm thinking a purple color would look quite nice. I really can I really can see him liking that color So we're just gonna put that kind of there and then we'll move this down a little bit Okay, cool. So if you guys have not seen the previous video, the link is just down below in the description for who everybody is. Uh, full detail background story and stuff will be also down below in the description for your convenience. So over here we have Christopher and we also have Benjamin who have woken up to a big, huge, scary monster under their bed. So uh, I'm still going to have them go back and nap, even though it's pretty much not going to happen, Captain, but that's cool. Yes. Okay. And we also have Penny Pixies on this lot as well. So we create some money and stuff which super cool uh so these three kids are not ashley's biological kids like she honestly is their mother mother oh wait, i can't speak she is such a motherly figure in these children's lives because they haven't known their real mother or their biological mother um since they were younger um she left for an young well she left for a younger kind of bodybuilder deal yeah kind of bodybuilder body bit body bit body bit <laughs> She left for a bodybuilder, um, and that's Clinton's ex-wife, and uh, really hasn't seen the kids since, and hasn't made an effort. So, anyway, so this young chap over here is Corbin, uh, and he is our butler, and uh, he's new in this little, he's new in this little let's play. <laughs> he's new in this little town of Willow Creek. He's actually from San Machino himself. He's a townie or, or a city boy. Uh, his name is Corbin Lofton. He's a young adult as well. He's actually um, our new butler. Uh, actually, we didn't hire him like Ashley didn't hire him. Clinton hired him. So that's something really cool, cool to look forward to. We don't have to work as hard and... You know, Corbin loves being here and he's been here for a couple of months and he's doing pretty well. So that's super, super exciting. So we're going to just kind of speed on through here. This is the house. This is kind of the layout. We currently have 130 simoleons, uh, 130,000 simoleons, I should say, in the bank, which is something really cool. And Gabriella is awake. 
Oh my goodness. I think she's going to use. Oh, she's going to wake up. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. I'm going to care. Oh, oh, can she not? Okay. Okay, cool. We need to get up. We need to get up. One of the, one of the, one of the two of them actually, or I think Corbin's going to get up and he's actually going to come over here and potty train Gabrielle. He hears her out in the hallway. Gabrielle is um, the type to just be really fussy and kind of snooty and, and, and just a little bit of a hot head herself, but not too much. Um, the kids traits. Benjamin's an active wee boy and then over here we have the golden child Christopher which Clinton just absolutely adores him and uh, there's reasons behind that but that's totally something that we'll get into later on. Christopher is the golden child you know Clinton in Clinton's eyes he will never do anything wrong to anyone and he's just so perfect and he's just he's just the best you know um and whereas um his brother well his twin brother Benjamin is kind of you know he's an active boy and he really just he just kind of is, he's not like his brother at all. He's not a troublemaker. He's an active boy, whereas uh, Christopher, is he's a hothead. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Corbin over here is potty training Gabriella. So cute. Corbin actually heard Gabriella in the hallway, whereas Ashley is just fast asleep. She's so, so tired. Um, After looking after the kids. So, more about Ashley. So, she moved from her hometown of Willow Creek to move in with Clinton. She fell madly in love with him and... She wanted to pursue her dreams as a model. You know, she was very successful in her hometown, but there wasn't many opportunities for her. She was finding herself having to travel a lot to different cities and she didn't want to travel and, and have all these expenses. She wanted to be there in the city and uh, right from the word go pretty much. But then when Clinton said, come move to Willow Creek, there's plenty of opportunities here for you and all that sort of stuff. Um, he became quite ab obsessive and quite, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I need to have a drink. He became quite obsessive with Ashley when he found out who she truly was and he became really, really infatuated with her to the point where he, um, started stalking her and... So then she moved in and actually kind of thought that he was actually instead of, well, because he was stalking her and all that sort of stuff. She took that as like, I don't know. She was like, oh, my gosh, I, I, he loves me, you know, and she she just couldn't see straight through his behavior, whereas he was actually being quite stalkerish and manipulative, all that sort of stuff. But Ashley doesn't know that, you know, she thinks that he's the best freaking person ever, the best gem in the sea, whatever you want to call it. Um... But he's quite not. He's not really. So uh, I think we've finished over here potty training Gabriella, I think. Uh, has she gone to the potty, though? Uh, potty help now. Uh, okay. Has she actually gone to the potty? Yeah, she has. Cool. Perfect. Corbin, you are awesome. So uh, we're going to have her sleep for a little bit. It is 1.30. Oh, it's 1.30 in the morning. <sighs> Maybe we should read her a story. Maybe we should. If it was like five o'clock in the morning, she might just go back to bed. But Corbin's going to come into the room and he's going to read. Uh, yeah, read toddler to sleep. That's what he's going to do. Um, yeah, Corbin really loves the kids. He really freaking loves the kids. He adores kids. And he's such a family-oriented guy himself. He's romantic. He's family-oriented. He's an art lover and he's also a collector. And, uh, yeah, he absolutely loves the kids. It's actually quite a change not having Clinton in the household because things, for once, seem pretty relaxed. Um, the okay. kids are in a routine. The kids okay. are feeling quite happy, especially Gabriella. Not so much uh, Christopher. He's quite, you know, he's actually feeling really angry and uncomfortable and missing his dad, and he just wants him back. Um, so, you know, he's going to just obviously naturally play up, whereas uh, Benjamin is feeling really happy, you know. He really, really is. He's been... I'm quite happy with his dad being away for once because he really just doesn't get on with his dad at all, really. Uh, if we have a look here at the relationships here. So, you know, they're, they're, they're just friends, whereas uh, Mr. Christopher over here is literally on, uh, yeah, he's he loves his dad so much. And, uh, yeah, he's just got that connection. So, um, oh, he's even going to tuck Gabriella in to bed. That is the sweetest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, oh, my goodness, can we just? So, yeah, pretty much, guys, the household has been really calm since Clinton has been gone. Clinton being a hot-headed sim really causes so much chaos and so much drama over freaking nothing. It's not even that freaking... 
It's not even that there is drama going on. He just likes to create drama out of freaking nowhere. Um, the kids will be going to school today, guys. They won't be having time off. So we're just going to zoom on Zoom here uh, and uh, get up. Obviously, we do need to feed the kids, which the butler will do. Corbin will get up and prepare a meal. And yep, the kids have woken up. Corbin's still not awake. So we need to like pronto get him awake. He's feeling flirty for some reason. So we're going to come over and cook the kids uh, a favorite meal. Like, you know, the favorite meal. I mean, what should that be? I mean, uh, let's do some pancakes. Every kid likes pancakes, right? Right? Am I right or am I wrong? I don't even know. So we're going to have both boys come and sit at the table. Looks like um, Mr. Benjamin was going to help himself to something. But uh, they're going to have some pancakes, which they don't know Corbin is up doing that. He's cooking some pancakes. Gabriella is still asleep, which is really, really, really nice to see her fast asleep. Um, and Ashley, of course, naturally, she's going to wake up. She's so used to actually doing everything. Like, she's used to waking up at the crack of dawn, Feeding the kids, feeding Clint, making sure his uh, his outfits are all ironed for the day, making sure the kids are like kids' clothes are all ironed for the day, and making sure Gabriella's had a nice sleep, all that sort of stuff, you know. So for once, she's actually feeling really embarrassed about not doing anything, which I mean I can see why because Clinton makes her feel bad for not doing anything. Uh, so the reason why you know she's she's like you're probably wondering why is she not a runway model because Clinton has kind of put her into this role now that she has to look after the kids and she has to sort of essentially look after them and and so he doesn't do anything pretty much um but now that we have a butler things have totally changed um Ashley kind of has more time for herself she has more time to do things and explore so much more Corbin <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. I actually love him. I love him. I love him a lot, you know. So he's going to call the kids to the meal, and they're going to come and uh, have some pancakes. They can't believe that they're actually getting pancakes. And, of course, uh, naturally, Ashley's gone for the for the frank and beans. Well, she was. I don't know if she is now. Um, now, Gabriella, where are you, my sweetheart? Yep, she's coming. She's feeling real angry, though. Real angry. Real, real angry. Real angry. <laughs> What the? I can't speak. So, um, yeah. And uh, is someone going to put... I think Corbin's going to stop and put Gabriella in her high chair. <gasps> the plates need cleaning. No. No. No, no, no. Okay, cool. So, we're going to pick her up. We're going to put her in her chair. And uh, we will give her some pancakes. Are you going to do that, Mr. Mister Hottie Pants? Hottie Pants. Hottie Pants McGee. Do I have to reset you? Do, do, I, do, I, do I have to reset you, hottie pants? Are you going to put her into her high chair before she actually throws a tantrum, please? That would be lovely. Um, looks like hottie Mickey over here is frozen. <laughs> okay, Ashley, my girl, I think you're up. Where's where she gone? Is she, have we got a runaway top? She's sitting here eating her freaking pancakes on the couch. She's so cute. Well, you know what? I'm just going to leave her. I'm just going to leave her. She's just a cute. All right. So pretty much, guys, this is the first part of our family Let's Play. Obviously, Clint will be home today at 3 o'clock, and I'm not really looking forward to that. I'm really not. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you guys have enjoyed, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts, predictions down below. And uh, I cannot wait for next part. I cannot wait to see when Clint gets home, what's going to happen. Um, I think I might be filming the first two parts back to back. So obviously, if you guys give me any suggestions, they will go to part three. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to head off. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't and you would like to. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye, everyone.